Are you considering becoming a React developer, but you're not quite sure how to begin? Do you want a system that actually works? Well, in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly that. I'll show you what's in demand, how to build your skills as a developer, and most importantly, how to start making money as a React developer. By the end, you'll have a real actual plan to get your first project and how to grow from there. By the way, why should you listen to me for this advice? Well, I've helped hundreds of developers get started as freelancers and agency owners over the past 10 years. Before we dive in, if you're into content like this, like how to get client, how to get started as a developer, how to freelance and how to build an agency, then hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. That way you won't miss anything that could help give you an edge. All right, let's talk about why React is such a big deal in 2025. React is the most in-demand JavaScript library for building dynamic user interfaces. From startups to huge corporations, companies are using React for its component-based architecture and flexibility. This makes it an incredibly valuable skill to learn right now. The first thing you need to do is get comfortable with the basics of React. You'll need to understand JSX, which is how React integrates integrate HTML with JavaScript to make building interfaces intuitive. Then there are components. These are the building blocks of React applications. There are functional and class components, though functional components have become the standard, especially with the introduction of React hooks. Speaking of hooks, they're a game changer. Hooks like use state and use effect let you manage state and side effects in functional components. You don't need to know everything about hooks right away, but understanding the core ones is essential. Next, you'll want to set up your development environment. You need Node.js and Node Package Manager. They're necessary to run your React environment. The easiest way to start a new project is with Create React App. It's a tool that quickly sets up everything you need to start coding without worrying about configurations. Once you're comfortable with the basics, the next step is to start practicing by building simple projects. Start with a to-do list app. It's a classic for a reason. It covers the essentials, creating components, managing state, and handling user input. Other beginner projects might be a weather app using public APIs or a personal portfolio to show off your work. After you've got a few projects under your belt, you should familiarize yourself with key libraries like React Router for managing navigation and Redux for state management. These tools are essential for larger projects where keeping track of different states and routes becomes more complex. As you're building, it's important to get comfortable with integrating APIs. Many jobs require you to fetch and display data from external sources, so you'll need to know how to make API requests in React, typically using either Fetch API or a library like Axios. Another thing that makes React so powerful is the ecosystem around it. You can pair it with Firebase for backend as a service, or use it alongside frameworks like Next.js for server-side rendering and enhanced performance. This gives you flexibility depending on the type of applications you want to build. By the way, most of the basics and even intermediate and advanced stuff you can learn for free on the internet. Uh, the best place to start is react.dev, which is a website. It provides comprehensive and up-to-date information straight from the source and free code camp. And I'm not affiliated in any way, obviously, but if you just go there, you can get a free structured course to learn React complete with hands-on projects to practice. When you're ready to show your skills, you need a portfolio. So include the projects that best highlight your React capabilities based on your prior experience as a developer and your newfound React skills, and make sure your code is clean, well-commented, and easy to understand. Your portfolio site should also be built using React. This not only shows off your skills, but also gives potential clients and employers a live demo of your work before they even click on anything. Now let's talk about the interesting part, getting some projects. Upwork and Fiverr are two of the best platforms for finding freelance gigs as a React developer, and people might disagree with this. Oh, this is where cheap, you know, cheap clients are, they don't have a budget, but it depends how you run these funnels. These are funnels, they're designed to work if you use them correctly. If you use it like everyone else, then you will not have a good time on there. I have a very detailed set of videos on how to get started on these platforms, but it comes down to not doing what everyone else is doing. It's not a platform for sitting passively and hoping some clients will come in and watch your, like, go through your portfolio. If you use it that way, you will not get good clients. What you do need to do is hit Upwork super hard with 15 proposals a day, seven days a week, and not give up.
as I'll mention again at the end of the video to remind you, uh, there's a set of videos. It's it, they're linked in the description on how to do this properly so you don't waste time and money. So as you start getting experience, you can increase your rates. Don't be afraid to charge what you're worth, even if you're quite you at React, but you have other dev experience. You do not need to charge super low just because someone does that. It is not necessary. Clients will pay a premium for someone who knows what they're doing and can deliver real value with good communication skills. Now, if you're just looking for someone to teach you in a junior position, then you will not command good rates. If you're working on this all day, every day to get good at it, and then you're spending time and money on freelancing platforms, getting clients, then you can command good rates. And by the way, most developers cannot talk to clients at all. Learning this skill will automatically set you apart from 99% of developers. So do learn this skill. It is a relatively soft skill, as they say, but you do need to learn how to talk to humans who are not developers. So learning React overall is one of the smartest moves you can make in 2025 if you want to break into web development. And it's in demand, versatile, and a fantastic community of developers to support you as you grow. Stick with it, build real projects, and always be on the lookout for new opportunities to put your skills to use. If you're just doing this all the time, even before you have clients, then the clients will clamor to work with you and they'll pay you a premium. Click on the video link below in the description to learn about how to properly set up your first contract using freelancing websites.